Welcome. This presentation will give you an overview of the College for Creative Studies application process, our admissions requirements, and portfolio requirements for high school and college transfer students interested in applying for our undergraduate programs. Let's begin. I'll start with a little bit of information about our school. CCS has been in existence since 1906, where we were originally founded as the Society for Arts and Crafts, and we've grown into the really well-established college that we are today. We are an accredited institutional member of the National Association of Schools of Art and Design, otherwise known as NASAD, and we're a member of the Association of Independent Colleges of Art and Design, otherwise known as ACAD. So we are a fully accredited college, and we grant students bachelor's of fine arts degrees in 11 different majors. We have an art education certification, and we have four master's degrees that we grant through our program. We are a nonprofit, independent, and private college, meaning that the money that students invest in their education at CCS goes back into the facilities, the faculty member, and really elevating the resources that they have on campus. We are amongst the ranks of the top art and design schools in this country. And CCS has been recognized nationally by several very important organizations for not just the quality of education that we provide our students in our various majors, but also their employability and success once they complete the programs at CCS. Our alumni have amazing careers in companies that most people dream of working at. And they also start their own successful businesses. Our alumni network is strong, and our excellent internship and recruitment events are a testament to this. Our career development department does a stellar job of connecting students to the industry while they're enrolled at CCS. In fact, in the past three years, 460 companies came to our campus to review student work, collect resumes, and find people to hire for their exclusive internship opportunities and even jobs. Here are the 11 majors that we offer for our bachelor's degree program. Advertising design, communications design, which covers motion, interaction, and graphic design. Crafts, which covers glass, metal smithing and jewelry making, fiber and textiles design, ceramics, and art furniture. Entertainment arts, which covers animation, digital film, video game design, and concept design. Fashion accessories design, fine arts, illustration, interior design, photography, product design, and transportation design. And our art education program allows students to study one of these 11 bachelor's degree areas while also pursuing their certification to teach kindergarten through 12th grade. The portfolio requirements for our various majors have some slight differences, which I'll go over in this presentation. Our application process is relatively simple. The first step is going to collegeforcreativestudies.edu backslash apply and completing our free online application form. This form has no essays. It does not require letters of recommendation or an artist statement. We're simply collecting basic information like your name, address, birth date, major of interest, and a few other basic information pieces from you. Next, we'll want to see a transcript, either from your high school or college. You can submit your transcript a few different ways. One is digitally through parchment, where you can request that your transcripts are sent from your school. The second is through requesting your transcripts from your school's counselor or registrar office and have them sent to us via mail. And you can, at this point in the process, submit unofficial transcripts, meaning if you have a screenshot or image of your transcripts, you can email those over to admissions at collegeforcreativestudies.edu and we can process the transcript to make an admissions decision. Please note that documents sent to us electronically typically have a faster processing time. Students coming from countries where English is not the primary language of learning must submit a TOEFL, IELTS, ACT, or SAT test score. And because we are an art school, a big part of the application process is submitting a portfolio. At CCS, we're looking for 8 to 12 pieces of a student's strongest work. I'll show some examples of that in just a moment here. And the work can be submitted either in person or digitally through ccs.slideroom.com or emailing or messaging your artwork to your admissions counselor. If you upload to ccs.slideroom.com, there is a one-time $10 fee for uploading your work. When you complete the application form to CCS, you are given access to a student portal 
where you can check on your progress for these different pieces of the admissions process. When you submit your portfolio to CCS, we do receive that information instantaneously. However, you may note a delay in when it is marked complete in your portal. This is because it typically takes a day or two to have the work actually reviewed by your admissions counselor. Once your work has been reviewed, it will be marked as complete and official for CCS. On the admissions tab of our website, you'll find a section for portfolio requirements. As I mentioned earlier, incoming students from high school are required to submit 8 to 12 pieces of original artwork. Transfer applicants can submit their 8 to 12 piece portfolio and additionally 20 total pieces if they're looking to receive transfer credit for studio-based classes. Concept design applicants are required to submit 15 to 20 pieces following the guidelines that we'll talk about today. So on our website, you'll see there are three columns for the specific types of requirements. The first area of work are for our majors that do not require drawing in the portfolio. This includes advertising design, communications design, any of the crafts disciplines, entertainment arts for digital film, fashion accessories design, fine arts, interior design, photography, product design, and our undeclared majors. So students are welcome to include drawing in those portfolios if they have them, but it is not required. So students can submit any number of types of work, and I'll show you some examples shortly. And the portfolio does not need to relate to a student's intended major, meaning if you were interested in interior design, you could show photography work. The second column is for our majors that do require drawing in the portfolio. Entertainment arts animation and game design, as well as transportation design and illustration. These four programs do require strong drawing skills in the portfolio, and we're looking to see a minimum of five observation or imaginative drawings in the portfolio. This can be in any medium, traditional or digital. And again, the work in this portfolio does not need to be specific to the major. So for transportation design, you don't need to have a portfolio full of car drawings to apply to that major. We just need to see a minimum of five drawings in your portfolio of eight to 12 pieces. And then lastly, entertainment arts concept design. We're looking for portfolios that show a student's ability to visualize a story. This can be an existing story of a story of their own creation. And we want to see how they execute their ideas in four main areas, environments, characters, architecture, and hardware. Hardware simply means vehicles or props. These pieces must be designed into a presentation format that is a landscape PDF and we want to see the full process for design. Sketches, development, research, inspiration photos, color studies, and final renderings for each of those four areas. So let's look at what some of this work can look like, starting with the portfolios that do not require drawing. So here you have an example of a student's drawing where they're showing their understanding of value, some really intriguing 3D work that students have submitted, some photo manipulation and design work, some original paintings, photography. We do look at sketches and line work as well. So if you have an intriguing sketchbook, please do include that in your portfolio. We're looking at a combination of a student's technical skills and their creativity, the things that they love to create, what they're working on outside of their classroom and inside of the classroom. Now let's take a look at some of the portfolio examples from majors that do require drawing. As I mentioned, this can include drawing from observation or imagination. Both are viable options. This student submitted a technical drawing showing their ability to draw from imagination but in perspective. This student was doing an observational piece where they showed us how they render form and value using color. Direct observation can be in the form of a still life, or a portrait, or a landscape. Imaginative drawings could be cartoons, characters, or really figurative work. And pieces don't have to be full color to be considered complete. This student did a very strong line work drawing that shows that they understand perspective 
and proportions. When doing character work, we do encourage students to show characters in an environment, showing the story that that character is a part of. A good way of doing this is creating a foreground, a middle ground, or a background, or doing storyboards or character boards. And you can combine your technical skills with imagination, like this student did. This piece has great foreshortening. Again, the work in your portfolio does not need to mimic the major that you're interested in. However, if you have those skills, please show us. And you don't have to use a specific medium. We do encourage students to work in whatever medium they feel strongest in. So that could be traditional mediums or it could be digital work. Again, we're looking for quality over quantity. So if there is a certain medium that you're best at, show us that in your portfolio. If there's certain subject matter that you're better at drawing, show us that. Put your best foot forward. Now we'll transition to talking about the portfolio requirements for entertainment art concept design. For each of the concepts that you see, students are showing us their full process, how they develop an idea from start to finish. For each project, you'll notice a student starts with inspiration photos, moves on to rough sketches, shows us some value studies or silhouettes, and then a final rendering. So here is an example of a piece of architecture where a student does that. Here's an example of a character done with multiple pages. These can be done on multiple page PDFs or you can do a single page showing the full process. Here's a great example for an environment. They're showing us even in writing some of their thoughts behind this concept. And then a final rendering. Lastly, for some examples of hardware, the student shows us really quickly their sketches, some of their studies for their model, and a final keyframe for their concept. There are a few tips and tricks for putting together this type of work that can really help to set your work apart. Know that an artist's statement about your interest in concept design is not required, but it's definitely welcome. If you have one, please include it. Characters, when you're designing them, think about poses and emotion, powerful stances and visible emotion that go along with the story for your concept go a long way. For hardware, it's good to put your industrial design thinking cap on. What materials are your objects or vehicles made of? How are they constructed? How do they work? Can you demonstrate this with your sketches and ideas? The PDF submitted, like I mentioned earlier, can be multiple pages. So be sure to show the full process for each project in one document. Also know that not all four areas need to be in each individual project. You can integrate them, but they can also be unrelated. For example, you can have one project where you include a vehicle concept from a space-themed story and another concept for a mermaid creature for an underwater story. You can tell us multiple stories in your portfolio or focus on one. 3D models are not required, but if you have some, please feel free to include them. The same goes for observational drawing work. Lastly, know that your portfolio must be uploaded to ccs.slideroom.com to be counted for this program. You can do an informal in-person portfolio review prior to uploading to Slideroom, but your final portfolio must be uploaded digitally. And that's it. If you have additional questions about how to best prepare your portfolio for the application, please reach out to our Office of Admissions by emailing admissions at collegeforcreativestudies.edu or calling our office at 313-664-7425. Thanks for watching and have a creative day.